Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, balik tayo sa mat challenge playlist natin for grade 7. This is part 4 na mga Lodi. So para ano to, in preparation for the upcoming mat challenge this January 2020. So sagot tayo mga Lodi kong grade 7, pati yung coaches natin. Okay, number 1, give a rational number that is midway between 3 fourths and 7 eighths. So, meron daw tayong fractions na 3 fourth and 7 over 8. Ang inahanap, mga Lodi, ano daw yung fraction midway? So, ibig sabihin ng midway, mga Lodi, tandaan po natin, <coughs> kapag narinig natin yung midway, that is just the average. Okay? So, how do we get the average, Sir IJ? So, the average is equal to the sum divided by the kung ilan man sila. So, kung dalawa yung fraction natin, yung midway doon, automatic, that is 1 half lang ng sum nila. So, that is equal to 1 half multiplied by the sum of 3 fourths plus 7 over 8. So, this is equal to 1 half multiplied by 6 over 8 LCD, mga Lodi. 7 over 8. 6 plus 7, that's 13 over 8 times 1 half, that is 13 over 16. So, yan na po yung sagot natin sa una nating problem. Tandaan, midway average, 1 half lang ng sum ng dalawang fractions. Okay? <clears throat> Proceed tayo sa pangalawang tanong. For the second question, mga Lodi, evaluate. Number 2, 6 times 2, 4, 7, 1, 5 plus 4 times 2, 4, 7, 1, 5. So, mga grade 7 pe uh, people and yung mga matlits natin, so, huwag nyo na pong i-multiply. Ang first step, double check ano yung common. So, yung common yung 2, 4, 7, 1, 5. Then, i-dist, ano lang natin, i-factor out natin yung common. Then, ayun, mas madali na siya. Kasi 6 plus 4, alam natin na 10. So, that is 2,400, sorry, 24,000. 715 times 6 plus 4. So, that is 2, 4, 7, 1, 5 times 10. So, just add 1, 0. Therefore, 2, 4, 7, 1, 5, 0. Yan na po yung final answer natin. Di ba? Madali lang mga Lodi. Okay, next item. Number 3. Okay, for number 3. Ang tanong natin is, nasa na yung tanong natin? Oh, wala. Each exterior angle of a regular polygon measures 24 degrees. How many sides does it have? So, yung exterior angle daw ng polygon natin is equal to 24 degrees. Regular yan mga lodia. Find the number of sides. So, ang formula lang for the number of sides, that is M, that is equal to 360 degrees all over the measurement of each exterior angle. So, tandaan natin na kahit anong klase mang polygon yan, automatic, yung sum ng lahat ng exterior is always 360 degrees. So, that is 360 degrees over 24 degrees, that is equal to 15 sides. Tandaan natin mga Lodi, ah. Kasi minsan tinatanong din siya sa mental computation, bibigay yung ano, kanyari, ibibigay yung number of sides, Tapos, hahanapin yung interior. So, pwede mong gawin kasi doon. Kunyari, meron kang 10 sides. Bigyan ko na example. Kunyari, meron kang 10 sides. So, paano mo makukuha yung interior angle ng regular polygon na susolve mo lang siya mentally? So, ang una mong gawin, kunin mo exterior. 360 divided by 10, that's 36. Tandaan natin na yung interior plus exterior, that is 180. Therefore, yung interior mo, 180 minus 36, that is 144. Degrees. Kaya kayang kaya mo siyang isolve within 5 seconds lang. All goods na tayo din mga Lodi. So number 4, so grade 7. <coughs> okay, for number 4, so hanap tayo ng problem mga Lodi. Okay, for number 4, in the expansion, x minus 4y plus 3 quantity squared what is the coefficient of xy? Ano daw yung coefficient ng xy? Ano yan? So, tatluhan yung terms of grade 7. Kailangan alam na rin natin paano mag-expand pag tatluhan. So, that is a plus b plus c quantity squared. So, square mo lang muna kada isa. Plus twice ng dalawahan. Product ng dalawa. 
So that is plus 2AB plus 2AC plus 2BC. Anong inahanap natin dito mga Lodi? Tama ka dyan. That is the coefficient of XY. Therefore, hanapin natin yung possible combination na magkakaroon tayo ng XY. So that is ito at saka ito. Therefore, that is 2 multiplied by X multiplied by negative 4Y that is equal to negative 8XY. Therefore, ano yung coefficient niya? The correct answer is negative 8. Ganun lang mga Lodi. Ito yung tandaan natin. Special products and factoring. Okay, isang tanong pa. Five questions tayo today. So, part, so for our part, anong part 2? Part 4. Okay, number 5. Last question for the grade 7 topic. Okay. Solve for x. 2 times the quantity x minus 3 is less than x plus 1. Okay, give your answers in interval notation. So, yung interval notation, grade 7, yun yung may mga uh, parenthesis, bracket. Tandaan natin, magiging bracket lang siya kapag kasali. Kapag may equal, automatic bracket. Kapag parenthesis, walang equal. Tapos, tandaan natin yung infinity tsaka negative infinity, lagi siyang parenthesis. So, first step, sir, IJ, ano ba gagawin dyan? So, unang gawin natin, distribute. 2x minus 6 less than x plus 1. So, ilipat natin sa kabila, mga lodi. So, that will become 2x minus x less than 1 plus 6. Therefore, x is less than 7, mga idol. So, ano na mangyari dyan? So, gagawin daw siyang interval. So, 7 pakaliwa. Therefore, the correct answer is from negative infinity, hindi naman laging kasali yan, sabi ni Sir IJ, hanggang pat papunta ka ng 7. Bakit parenthesis, mga lodi? Kasi walang equal yan. Okay? So, just in case meron kayong questions, clarifications, huwag kayong mahihang magtanong. Thank you so much, mga lodi, for subscribing to my channel. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye!